The message you're about to listen to is a message from Apostle Eric Nyamiche, the chairman of the Church of Pentecost. Apostle Eric Nyamiche preaches the gospel in its simplest form to help the believers walk in Christ and also how the believer relate with his world. This year, the message is on unleashing the church to possess nation. Join us and let's learn from Apostle Eric Nyamiche and be a blessing to the world. If you are new to this page, make sure that you subscribe to the channel and turn on that notification bell so that when new videos are uploaded, you can have access to it. Make sure you go to our own page and check out for more videos. Thank you. She shocks the young guys, but she herself, she's not shocked. What is happening is that the light in you is darkness now. But once you see your sin, you sin and the Holy Ghost convicts you and you realize that this is what I've done, it is wrong, it means that you are still alive. It means that there's still light in you. Take hold of that and repent. Don't be joking your sin until your conscience is destroyed. Maybe when we talk about repentance, we have always thought of the unbeliever. But today I'm saying that repentance is in two kinds. The first one is to, for the unbeliever to come to Christ, to be related as a child of God. The second one is for us who are born again, so that our conscience is not destroyed, so that the light in us will not become darkness. Have you gotten something this morning? Yeah. You need to repent. Say that now as we are going home. There's somebody that you are not on talking terms with. What are you going to do? <laughs> I have been a pastor for a while. I've seen with my naked eyes. When I've said, let us move. Keep on shaking one another. Then my eyes were following two people that I know they don't talk. I was watching them. <laughs> I was watching them. I love you with the love of the Lord. I love you with the love of the... When, this, when they saw that they were heading the same direction, this one said, I can't see you. <laughs> I saw it right there. I can't see you who? In who? I can't see you. And this one to the glory of the Lord. <laughs> Don't be deceived. God is not mocked. Whatever you sow, it is that which you reap. My heart is for us to produce very good Christians. People who are like Jesus. People who walk in the midst of the people. And these are the aroma of Christ. I'm praying that you'll be one of them. I want to go back home repenting at your attitude towards your spouse. Repent. At your attitude at the workplace. Even if you go to work, and you, are not, you, don't do, you don't work the way you are expected. And people say that you are lazy. You can repent of your laziness. Yeah. When you sleep in bed, you don't even find the need of tidying up the place. You wake up and you just go. People say that, why? why? What kind of person are you? You can repent of that. Repentance is not only about sin. It's about attitude. Your whole life, you have to live, must be lived differently. Shall we rise to our feet now? I want you to just be quiet and then reflect. In what ways is God calling you to repent? I want you to be upstanding. Jonah chapter 2 verse 8. Yes, give that to me. Jonah 2 8. Now look at it closely. I'll read. Those who cling to worthless idols... Forfeit the grace that could be theirs. This is not my husband. I'm clinging to him. You forfeit the grace that will be yours. This is not my wife. I'm clinging to her. You forfeit your own wife. The wife that God has prepared for you, you forfeit it. If you like, be joking with somebody's husband, you will never get one to marry. 
Yeah. Because you forfeit the grace that could be yours. If you like, be taking monies that are not yours from the workplace. You never get that which will be enough for you. That is why you need to repent. This scripture is true. Those who cling to worthless idols, they will forfeit the grace that could be theirs. Shall we lift up our hands and let's begin to pray. I want you to go into the recesses of your heart and tell yourself, what am I doing wrong? Where should I change? Decide in your heart and turn completely with actions. That is how repentance is. An inward decision backed by an outward action. I want you to pray. I want you to go into... Let the lovers of God pray. Those of you who love him, repent of your sins. So I'll, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to go this way again. I love you so much. I'm sorry for disappointing you. I don't want to go this way again. Let go it. Some of the things you must let go. If you let go, you are going to lose some money. But let it go. All kinds of trade and business that is not done in the spirit of Christianity. Let it go. Don't be a fraud. Don't be a fraud. Don't, don't, no, not at all. Don't be a froster. Not at all. I want you to speak with your mind. Use language that you understand. Repentance is not about speaking in tongues. It's about praying with your mind. Pray with your mind. Touch the very thing that you know is wrong. Touch it and say, God, forgive me of this. Forgive me of that. Forgive me of that. Touch it. Touch it. Touch it. Touch it. You can't hide anything from his eyes. You may hide it from other people, but not from his eyes. No. No. Not from him. He knows it. He knows it. In the name of Jesus. Please open your eyes again. First Kings chapter 15, verse 5. First Kings 15, verse 5. For David had done what was right in the eyes of the Lord. And had not failed to keep any of the Lord's command all the days of his life, except in the case of Uriah the Hittite. I'm praying that this will be your scripture. Maybe you didn't know. You have done so many things. Let it be said of you that from this day, you did what was right in the eyes of the Lord. That should be your goal. Wanting to do what is right. In the eyes of the Lord. Those of us who want to do what is right in the eyes of the Lord, from today forward, let us lift up our hands and then begin to bless God together. Tell Him, God. Good by words, I'll stay no longer with you. Good by pleasures of sin, I'll stay no longer with you. I've made up my mind. To go God's way the rest of my life I've made up my mind To so go God's way the rest of my life Goodbye words I'll stay no longer with you Goodbye pleasures of sin I'll stay no longer with you I've made up my mind to go.